In the midst of all the chaos and confusion today, and all the things that are being said and done, I think it's important that we keep it very simple. Thou shalt call his name Jesus. Thou shalt call his name Jesus. And he shall save his people from their sins. Let's keep it simple. Let's call his name. To those out there that are listening to this broadcast, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what burden you carry. I don't know what your situation is. But I know that if you will call that name in belief, if you will call that name in faith, believing, I know that He, He will touch you. Everything you have need of is in Jesus. Everything. He is all I need. Amen? He is all I need. Let's keep it simple, brothers and sisters. The world and what we go through every day is complicated enough. Amen? So let's keep Jesus simple. Paul said, Do not leave the simplicity that is in Christ Jesus. Do not be be beguiled by the serpent as Eve was beguiled. Amen? Let's keep it simple. Right now, where you are, call on his name. Thou shalt call his name Jesus, and he shall save his people from their sins. That name, that name which is above every name. There is no other name whereby men must be saved. That name, Jesus. His name means Savior, Deliverer. Amen? That's His name. He is our salvation. He is the answer. He is our deliverance. How often do we call on His name? How often do we call on Jesus? Do we wait till we get in trouble before we call on his name? How close is our relationship with the Lord? How many times do you have to call his name before you begin to feel his presence? Before he begins to manifest himself to you? before the tears begin rolling down your face and your heart begins to be softened and it seems like the whole world's been rearranged. When's the last time that Jesus touched you and everything seemed like it was rearranged? It was a new day. You came out of the darkness You came out of the confusion. You came out of the oppression, all the turmoil, and all that you were going through, and you were wondering, what was I so upset about? 
That's Jesus, brothers and sisters. When Jesus passed by, gone were all the heartaches, all the troubles, when Jesus passed by. Amen. While he passes by, right now during this broadcast, while the Lord is passing by, let us be like those two men on the road of Emmaus and constrain Jesus to stay. Constrain him to stay in your life. Don't let Jesus leave. Don't let Jesus pass you by, friend. Constrain him. The scripture says when they recognized that it was him, he vanished out of their sight. Does that mean that Jesus was no longer with them? No, because Jesus is everywhere present at all times. The difference is, is that he manifests himself to those that believe. He's everywhere. David said, if I make my bed in hell, thou art there. But does the Lord manifest himself to you? Do you feel his presence? Do you feel his touch? When's the last time you were able to cast all your care upon the Lord and all that inward turmoil turned to peace? He's the same. Thou shalt call his name Jesus. Call his name. I know that there are people out there that are hurting. I know. There are people out there that are listening to this broadcast and you're confused. How simple, how much more simple can it be? Thou shalt call his name Jesus. Jesus. Can you think of any greater name to call? When we are in trouble in this world, we call certain people, right? We call certain names. We think this person can help us, or we think that you know person can help us. What about his name? What about him? Amen? Call him. Call him. Jesus. 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 His name is as ointment poured forth. Just his name alone brings healing. His name. There is no sweeter name under heaven than the name Jesus. I hear a lot of folks today calling Jesus Yeshua. The Bible doesn't say to call him Yeshua. If you're Hebrew, then you call him Yeshua. But if you're Greek or Gentile, you don't speak Hebrew, why would you call him Yeshua? See, there's a spirit behind that. There are a lot of folks today that are being bewitched. A lot of folks that are Christian messianics or Christian Zionists that are going back under the law. They're not experiencing the Lord's grace and they're trying to establish their own righteousness, going about to establish their own righteousness and they haven't submitted themselves to the righteousness of God. You that desire to be under the law, do you hear what the law says? When you walk by faith and not by sight, you're no longer under the law. Amen? You're under grace. And the law can't change you. The law can't transform you. But grace and truth can transform you. The law came by Moses. 
but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. The law in itself cannot convert you and I, but Jesus, but Jesus is able through, through faith to transform you and I. Amen? Hallelujah. You shall know him who is the truth, and he shall make you free. And he whom the Son of Man shall make free shall be free indeed. Call on him. Call his name, Jesus. Let's keep it simple, brothers and sisters. Amen? Keep it simple. Hallelujah. It's not meant to be difficult. When a child is hungry, when a child needs to be changed, when a child needs something, a child cries. David said, I cried unto the Lord, and he heard my cry. When's the last time the Lord heard you cry, friend? Thou shalt cry, thou shalt call his name Jesus. No other name under heaven whereby men must be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus, the same shall be saved. Thou shalt call his name Jesus, and he shall save his people, not in their sins, but from their sins. Amen. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. Are you listening? Glory to God. Let's keep it simple, brothers and sisters. God bless you.